Did you know that you can now access more than 500 apps from inside of ChatGPT? For example, you can now get ChatGPT to answer your emails or your Slacks. Or maybe you didn't know that you could get ChatGPT at the end of every response that it gives you to actually suggest other things that you should ask about or learn about based on the response that it gave you. Well, those two things are absolutely nothing because by the end of this video, you're gonna learn about 10 hidden ChatGPT features that I bet you haven't seen before. And if you begin to use these things, it's going to make the responses ChatGPT gives you way better. Hidden feature number one is a brand new GPT that ChatGPT just released that actually allows you to connect it to more than 500 plus apps. In order to find this, just come over to GPTs right here, type in Rube, and you are going to see this right here. This allows you to access more than 500 apps from literally one chat. You just click on start chat right here, and then you could go back and forth with this to do tons of different things. For example, it will literally connect to all of these different apps. If you come over here, this will literally show you everything that you can connect it to, or we can ask it right here, what can we do with Rube? And this is literally going to go through, and this is going to tell us all the different things that it can do. We come over here the first time doing it, you'll just have to confirm things when it's using a new part of the app. But essentially, this allows you to connect to more than 500 different apps, 15,000 different tools, and you can see a bunch of different things, sample use cases, how it works, how to find the right tools, how to connect it to your account, and how to execute these as workflows. And what really makes this powerful is when you pair this with one of the other features that I'm gonna share with you later on in this video that will allow you to automatically have it take actions across all these different apps. And as you can see here, you can get this to take action, not only in one app, but across several different apps. For example, automating your content or social media analytics, or doing something with Google Sheets, Google Drive, Google Calendar, Slack, Notion, Lanier, or so many other different tools that I guarantee that you're using right now. Now, hidden feature number two is going to be in ChatGPT's app. So what you're going to wanna do is you are going to want to come over pull up ChatGPT's app and you come to the bottom left hand corner right here, click on settings. And if you scroll down, what you are going to see is follow up suggestions right here. You need to make sure that this is turned on. What this does is gets ChatGPT to reply with other suggestions every single time that you use it. For example, I can say something like, how can I automate my Slack messages from school. Now what this will go ahead and do is this is going to tell me how to actually do that. We could see that it's going through, it's giving me all these different options. So it gives me one option with Zapier, it gives me another option with make.com. And then once we actually scroll down, once this is done, it's going to give us other suggestions here. See, would you like helping setting this up or do you want more details? This right here then continues the conversation and gets you to actually not have to think about the next thing that you should be doing every time you talk to ChatGPT and instead it will kind of prompt you automatically doing that thing so you don't have to constantly be thinking about it and thinking about what the next thing to do is because ChatGPT will tell it to you. Trust me, this setting right here makes a massive difference in the results that you end up getting and the experience you end up having with ChatGPT. Now, before we get into the rest of those new settings and those new features, I wanted to remind you that getting rich in 2025 is easier than it's ever been because today you don't have to go to Harvard, go to college, or get yourself in a ton of debt in order to learn new things. On top of that, you could increase your value in the workplace literally in just a few weeks. Whether it's that high paying job you want or maybe you want to launch something for yourself, AI makes this possible for everyone. In fact, AI isn't just a nice to have anymore, it's required whether or not you wanna get a promotion at your job or start a new business. In fact, nearly every job today requires that you have AI skills and having AI is going to skyrocket your odds of getting a better job. Which is exactly why I wanted to let you know that this weekend you could join the two-day AI mastermind by Outskill, the world's first AI-focused education platform. It's happening this Saturday and this Sunday from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern on both days. And by just attending 16 hours with expert mentors, learners from Outskill have built and shipped over 100 AI products, all 
without writing a single line of code. And some of them are even earning these people four to $5,000 a month now since they've created them. Now this training normally costs over $895, but I've partnered with Outskill in order to give away a thousand free seats exclusively for my viewers. That's nearly $900,000 worth of training completely for free. And you can go to the pinned comment below right now to register for it. Again, it's literally 100% free. On top of that, it's rated 4.9 out of five on Trustpilot. And this is a highly credible mastermind. Now you're probably asking yourself, what makes this different? Firstly, it's just a 16 hour short commitment, which is best suited for someone with a busy professional schedule. You also get free lifetime access to Outskill's exclusive paid AI community to grow alongside more than 5,000 AI first professionals. And also their AI learning dashboard is super seamless to navigate, which enhances your overall learning experience. More than 10 million people have already attended this training in the last year across several different industries. And now it's your turn. During the two day live training, you're gonna get 10 plus powerful AI tools you need to be using. You're gonna learn more about prompt engineering and you're gonna learn how to automate your workflows and build AI products without knowing how to code. Also, if you sign up now, you get exclusive bonuses worth over $5,100. The first one is going to be a prompt Bible with more than 3,000 high impact prompts that you get on day one. The second is going to be a roadmap to monetize with AI on day two. And then if you attend both these, you're gonna get a personalized AI toolkit builder. And this is so valuable that I've literally got my entire team joining it. And remember, those limited spots are filling up fast. So go to the pin comment below and register today for free. P.S. Don't forget to join their WhatsApp group in order to know about updates and exactly when the training is going to be starting. Now feature number three is actually another one that just came out and you need to make sure that you're using this because here's the deal. If you end up having really long chats with ChatGPT, like I'm talking, you're going back and forth with it for five minutes. 10 minutes, 30 minutes, what's going to end up happening is you are going to start to reach a context window on ChatGPT because ChatGPT can only intake so much information and can only outtake so much information. So let's say you get to a point in your conversation and you say, wow, I wish that I could take this somewhere else. Well, now you actually can. If you click on these three dots right here, you're going to see branch into new chat. What this is going to do is open up a new window and this is going to actually branch this chat from just this. So basically, this allows you to split up different chats that you're having with ChatGPT into other things. Let's say that you're asking about something and it gives you like some kind of good idea or a good suggestion, but you don't want to talk about the thing inside of that chat that you were in. You click on branch right there and then it will actually open up a new window for you. In addition to that, if we come back to the ChatGPT app right here, you need to make sure that you are coming into your settings and you need to make sure that you are scrolling down right here and have manage apps turned on. You need to make sure that you have enabled permissions for every single one of these. This is going to allow you to have ChatGPT access notes on your computer, access script writer, access your terminal, and access your text edit. In addition to that, you can also see automatically applied suggestions right here. I would suggest that you have this turned on and generate suggested edits. This will then generate suggested edits whenever you're prompting ChatGPT and it ends up giving you a way better response every single time that you use it. In addition to that, in order to actually turn on these managed apps, I should have said this before, you need to make sure that enable work with apps is going to be turned on. Now what you're gonna notice is when you're actually chatting with ChatGPT, you can click on this right here and you can work from inside of all these different apps. Now right now, they only have these four apps when it comes to features like this, but in the future, you are going to see that these are going to be a lot more built out and ChatGPT is literally going to be able to access any app that you actually have on your computer right here. I would expect that to start to roll out within like the next month or two. Now this right here brings me to this feature right here, which is going to be the record feature. As we can see, this is now recording everything that I'm saying, everything that's going on. We can then pause it or we could send this into ChatGPT. When we click on send, this is then going to upload this into ChatGPT. And essentially what you could do is you could use this with meetings or you could talk to ChatGPT or you can have it do this with so many different options. Options. And essentially what this ends up doing is allows you to take context from what's happening outside of ChatGPT, let's say a meeting or you talking to somebody and then actually bringing that into ChatGPT so that it has consistent memory of it. As we could see, this actually goes through and does this. And now from here, we can get this to do specific things. For example, this then brings up these prompts right here. 
We could ask it, how is the recording data stored or accessed? Are there any privacy considerations? Or what specific functionalities does this record feature include? Now, if this was actually recording a meeting, this would give us suggestions for follow-ups from that meeting. Or if it was a sales call, it would give us suggestions from that sales call. And basically, this allows you to give ChatGPT access to everything else that you have going on that you're not directly telling ChatGPT. But I don't want you to think that that's it because there are four other settings and features that you need to make sure that you're using. The next one is going to be the scheduling things out feature. This is actually what I was referring to earlier when I was talking about how powerful it is to actually put Rube, which allows you to access more than 500 different apps from ChatGPT with this scheduled feature. So if we come over here into settings and we click on this right here, you are going to see schedules. And as we could see, we could manage schedules. Essentially what we can do now is have ChatGPT do specific things. For example, this right here searches for flights from JFK to Libsyn, Portugal for below $1,000, and then it will notify me if it finds any. I wanna to go to Libsyn, so this is actually going through and doing that and I don't want to overpay for it. So this is doing this for me, and we can see it does this weekly on Monday at 9 a.m. Now I could change this if I wanted to, to be daily, to be monthly, to be annually. I could set it to be custom. You could choose any day of the week and any time in 15 minute increments. You could also pause it, delete it, cancel it, all from right within here. But what really makes this powerful is when you combine this with things that you have going on inside of Roop. For example, if we come over to Rube right here, we could see that we can ask this to summarize our emails from yesterday or to analyze trends on Twitter or to create a spreadsheet about something. Well, guess what? We can actually get this to do that and then we can schedule it out and now we're beginning to automate our work with ChatGPT. In addition to that, you need to make sure that you come in to customize ChatGPT right here and you need to make sure this is filled out. I cannot emphasize this enough. Under what trait should ChatGPT have, this is where you tell it how you actually want it to respond. For example, if you don't want ChatGPT to lie to you, tell it here to double check all of its answers. Or if you want ChatGPT to keep prompting you with questions before it actually gives you an answer, tell it to do that here. This is where you're telling it exactly how it should behave, and this is where you're setting a system prompt for ChatGPT to have to follow every single time that it does something. In addition to that, you could tell it what you do, what personality you want it to have. You could choose between five of them right here. You could tell it anything else that you want it to know about you. And if you come into advanced right here, you're going to see web search, code, canvas, and advanced mode. Now that next setting that I want to make sure that you have turned on is if you come into settings, come into connectors, scroll down, you're going to see advanced settings right here with developer mode. You need to make sure this is turned on because this will allow you to come over into create and attach ChatGPT to any MCP server. This literally just came out and this is going to allow you to connect any tool with an MCP server to ChatGPT, which makes ChatGPT way more powerful because not only are you going to be able to use all these connectors or the connectors from Rube app, you're also going to be able to connect it to anything that you want. Now, final thing I need to make sure that you do, if we come over into personalization, you need to make sure you have reference safe memories turned on. You need to make sure that you have reference chat history turned on. And you also need to make sure that you have reference record history turned on because otherwise ChatGPT isn't going to have memory. When ChatGPT has memory, it gives you better responses. It remembers what you like. It remembers how you respond to things and it can reference all those past chats to give you a better answer. In addition to that, you wanna make sure that you are occasionally coming over into your memories and deleting anything that isn't actually accurate. For example, if I scroll down a little bit, owns a 2022 Porsche 911S, I do not own a Porsche anymore, so I'd wanna delete that. Or is going to Glacier National Park, that's not relevant anymore, so I want to delete that. I wanna make sure that I am deleting anything that has nothing to do with how I'm currently using ChatGPT. Now, don't go crazy with this. Don't manage your memories every day, but I would recommend doing it on a weekly basis, a bi-weekly basis, or at least a monthly basis so that you're getting rid of everything that ChatGPT thinks, but that isn't accurate anymore. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that shows you another brand new ChatGPT feature that just came out that I guarantee you haven't heard of yet. I'll see you over there.